Solving math equations takes total concentration. Gah! Way to watch that mane, Lily. I didn't mean to do it, I swear. But long hair can be a problem in more ways than one. Ack! My hair almost came out of my head that time. I knew I should've worn a ponytail today. Uh, you may want to be careful with that pencil, Lily. Ooh, this really hurts! That's it! This hair is going up, people. Now I should finally be able to concentrate. Well, that was a fail. Oh, Lily, you really got that pencil tangled in there. Found it! I have a hair tie you can borrow. Actually, I think I have an even better idea. Start with a high ponytail like this. Then stick the pencil in the hair above it. Grab two little strands from the pony like this, then flip them over the pencil. Start to make them into a braid. As you go, gather more strands as you flip them over the pencil. Don't forget the other side! Then, when you get to the bottom, keep the braid going and finish it off with an elastic. A little rubber band works best. Whoa! Take the pencil out to see the magic. Don't forget to tuck the tail end in. If that's not Instagram-worthy hair, I don't know what is. It looks pretty fab if I do say so myself. Don't forget, you're still in class, girls! Why go to the gym when you can work out at home? Ready to do this, girls? One, two, three, go! Yes! Feel the burn! Ow! It shouldn't burn that bad. Gah! Work through the pain! Yikes! These braids will be the death of me! That's it, I give up. These braids keep whipping me in the face. But I don't want to have to cut my hair. Unless… If you want to get your long braids out of the way, try tying them into a couple basic knots like this. Then tuck the loose ends into the tied hair. When done right, you won't even see the ties anymore. See? It's looking pretty snazzy, right? Looks like these long braids are nice and secure. Come on, let's do round two. Okay, let's do this! Our blood is pumping and we're ready to go! Aw, look at those smiles. Sure feels good not to get smacked in the face as you dance, right, Lily? We nailed it! Yay, it's salon day! Every girl knows the second she sits in that salon chair, they've got to carefully explain exactly what they want. So, I was thinking just a little trim, maybe a few layers, but nothing too crazy. And while the hairstylist looked like they were listening, their scissors start painting a different picture. They call this look tears and shears. Oh man, this is worse than watching a horror movie! I'm too scared to look! Okay, I think I overreacted. This cut is totally cute! Nothing like perusing through fashion magazines to get new hair inspiration. Ooh, check out this girl's hair! You think I'd look good as a blonde? I think I could do it myself if I just use some bleach, right? Okay, my mind's made up. We're doing it. I don't know why I'd spend a fortune at the salon if I can just bleach my hair at home. But there's a reason why people pay the big bucks to get their hair done. They actually know what they're doing. How did my hair turn red? Did I pick up the wrong stuff? Suddenly your old, boring dark hair isn't looking too bad, is it? Oh <sighs> man, is it 7am already? Guess I'd better get ready for the day. And first step is getting rid of that nasty morning breath. But for girls with long hair, even something as simple as brushing their teeth can get a little… complicated. 
Oh man, Bella didn't even realize she got toothpaste all in her hair. Yep, there it is. And now I have to wash my hair? Awesome. Alright, the water's nice and hot and it's time to lather up! And if you've ever washed a long mane before, you know that shedding is just part of the process. Whoa, that's a big one. Better put that here for later. And by the end of your shower, you'll shed enough strands to make a whole wig. Ew, you'd better remember to get rid of those before the next person uses the shower. Gah! That was a lot of hair. Jeez, I hope I'm not sick or something. Getting ready to go out on a Friday night is a delicate science. Picking out the right clothes and the perfect shoes is crucial to feeling your best. But a bad case of messy hair can make your outfit go from a 10 to a total flop. Hey, I totally forgot I had this ribbon in my purse from the other day. Now things are looking up. For this look, start by smoothing out your tresses to get rid of any knots or frizziness. That looks much better. Now take your hair and gather it into a low ponytail like this. Make sure it's nice and tight. With a thick ribbon like this one, tie a knot around the elastic so you can no longer see it. Begin to braid your hair like you normally do, but intertwine it with the material. There you go! Once that's done, go ahead and wrap the pony into a bun. Let the remaining strands of fabric hang loose like a bow. Ugh, that long hair just gets stuck everywhere, doesn't it? Ouch! Why does this happen every time you put on a jacket? Sure, it looks pretty, but having long hair isn't all it's cracked up to be. Ew, I just washed my hair an hour ago. Looking good, Betty. Where are you off to this evening? Uh-oh. You know what happens when you brush over your nose with powder? A chew! Yep. Hair all in my face, people. Ugh, I'm so over having this long hair. There's gotta be something I can do to get it out of my way without chopping it all off, right? Hey, maybe these guys can help me out. Need a cute hairstyle to keep your long locks out of the way? Start by sectioning off your hair into two parts and putting them up into high pigtails. Make sure they're nice and tight. Next, take one of these little rubber bands and put it a few inches under the first tie good and tight. Once it's secure, take that section of hair and pull it out a bit. Do the same thing a couple times down the length of the hair on both sides. You'll want to make sure the bands are super tight so that the hair doesn't fall back down into place. And there you have it! A fun new twist on classic pigtails. Alright, mm, time to hop in the shower. Yikes! Did I get electrocuted in my sleep? Now what am I gonna do? Nope. Not working. Oh god. My bracelet is totally stuck in my hair. Act casual, act casual. Ever notice curly hair just grabs onto stuff? Whether it's your glasses or a bangle. Your curls just attract to things. And somehow, the more you struggle, the more tangled stuff gets. Nothing to see here, people. Ugh, I can only smile for a little longer. Finally. I'm just playing with my hair and laughing, see? Wow. Look at that corkscrew curl. I think it holds magical powers. Wow! How do you get it to look so full like that? What are we, at the hair salon? If you have pretty curls, chances are you've had to deal with people wanting to touch them. Like, a lot of people. Seriously, Emily? Okay, that's it. Just because my hair is curly and beautiful doesn't mean you should put your grubby hands all up on it. Grr! 
Alright, let's get organized with my weekly to-do list. Whoops, where'd my pen go? Huh? Whoa! Who knew I had dessert in there? Mmm, maple. Oh yeah, my pen. Ouch! It's really stuck in there. Come on! Ow, ow, ow! <sighs> Finally. Okay, where was I? Buy more pens. 